And welcome back to the Dawn Show. And now, after all those gorgeous diamonds, we're going to help you toast to a lovely Valentine's Day with Anna Horsey from Chad's Ford Winery. Welcome, <laughs> Anna. Thank you, Dawn. So tell me about Valentine's Day and the romance of Chad's Ford Winery. This is such a beautiful area. My husband and I love it. It is so pretty out there on Route 1 uh, near Chad's Ford, near Longwood Gardens. So what's fun is that you can actually make a day out of it. You can either go to the winery or Peddler's Village where we also have a tasting room. Nice. So what we're doing this month and uh, probably heading in a little bit to the next month just because it's cold out and people want to come on out and visit and warm up with wine, is we're doing a Valentine's tasting where you can sit down and pair eight wines with eight chocolates from different chocolate places in Lancaster and local chocolatiers basically. And it's a really fun tasting where you can kind of taste our spiced apple with a maple cream. We do with our proprietors white, a lemon cream, the Pinot Grigio. It's really interesting to try the different wines with different types of chocolate. And also you can follow it up with a little bit of uh, chocolate covered espresso bean to kind of wake you up after you're drinking so much wine. Oh, nice. So mm -hmm. people can go and they do the wine. So it's eight different wines mm -hmm. and how many different chocolates? Eight different chocolates. And eight different and to go with. Oh. You also get to take home a box of chocolates with you when you leave. You also get a tour when you go out to Chad's Ford Winery of our actual winery. And um, the price is ranging from between 20 and $30. You can sit down in Peddler's Village in their beautiful tasting room and have an actual sit down where they kind of walk you through it. And it's a real, it's a real, you know, Valentine's sort of holiday extravaganza where everyone's coming in and having a good time. And it's a great thing to do in February. I mean, February is one a really cold, you know, slow month. And to go out and have a good time with your sweetheart or your friends, just come out for like a fun. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. A girlfriend's outing, even, oh, yes. you know, would be fun. They get limos and people get town cars and they come and, and so they're go not around. driving, <laughs> no, which is smart. No, no, it is smart. <laughs> And uh, it's, it's just a fun time. We have a great time with it. In Chad's Ford Winery, we have a lot of events that we do where we have um, these kind of fire pits where you can sit around it, heat up some spiced apple and sit there sipping it. Again, have your chocolate, any kind of wine. You can buy a bottle of wine. Sometimes we'll have food trucks there so you can get something kind of neat and interesting to eat to pair with your wine. Make your own decisions on that. And um, of course in Peddler's Village, there's millions of shops there for you to walk around and do your own browsing after you've had some wine. Yeah, so many great shops and also great restaurants. So even if people want to go out to eat earlier and then make this sort of their dessert and their exactly. evening, mm -hmm. that's nice too. So take me through some of the wines. Sure. Um, I'm a red wine girl. Can we start with the red? Sure. <laughs> well, the exciting one that you're pointing at right now is that the Philadelphia Flyers has brought us on as their winery to create a Philadelphia Flyers red and white, which is being done at Wells Fargo at the Flyers at X Xfinity Live. Um, Chicken and Pete's Cadillac Grill. So we're actually serving Pennsylvania wines for the Flyers. So we're really excited about that one. It's wonderful. It's it, good luck. Exactly. We all want to get lucky, <laughs> especially the Flyers, right? Right. So not only can you take your sweetheart to the winery or the Peddler's Village for chocolate, you can leave if you're a Flyers fan with a lot of different, you know, you can bring some Flyers wines to people you like. Um, basically, our, we have a lot of different dry wines along with our sweet wines. And people just think, oh, chocolate, sweet, that's what you need to do it with. Mm -hmm. But what we're doing here is putting the proprietors of white with the um, lemon cream, the Pinot Grigio goes with another kind of dark chocolate. I think one of them is Pinot with, Grigio mm -hmm. goes with dark. Yeah, it's interesting to kind of see how it changes. You take a sip, you take a, a bite of chocolate and everything changes. Just like having different proteins or acid, mm -hmm. you know, in your mouth when you're drinking, you know how they pair with food or with fish or with. Now, and you, I, I knew you said you like red. This is a really nice blend of local and uh, near Lake Erie grapes, different hybrid grapes, which are a wonderful thing our winemaker puts together every year, a different proprietor's reserve red. So that's got a really nice and easy drinking. We do have in the winery as well Cabernet Sauvignon, a delicious Pinot Noir, and some other really interesting reds for, you know, ladies who love the red. But these are also very conducive to drinking with like pizza and wings and, and those types of things. Specifically our Flyers red is supposed to be served chilled as well. Oh, okay. So, mm -hmm. Oh, so it's chilled. That's interesting. We wanted to make it something that everyone, it's easy drinking. You know, okay. I mean, a lot of times in a game, you're not really, oh, you know, right. like, you know. <laughs> so we wanted it to be kind of a fun thing, really light, and really easy to drink. We've been getting a lot of wonderful reactions from it. Everyone's really loving them. Yeah. Yeah. I've heard a lot of great things. Mm -hmm. And, you know, we love the Brandywine Museum as well. Oh, yeah. So That's sometimes, right there. Yeah, it's mm -hmm. right there. And sometimes it's fun even if people stay, spend the night, if they're 
traveling mm -hmm. from South Jersey or maybe traveling a little bit, stay in, stay in a B&B, and then the next morning, because they have that free Sunday mornings. Yes, exactly. The and they have the free Sunday mornings, and also at Longwood Gardens, they have the lights out, so you can do like a whole day of it. Go antiquing. Um, we're right across the border in Delaware, so really, we ha uh, Delaware has been one of our biggest fans for years. They you do some tax-free shopping in <laughs> I Delaware. I know, and just kind of <laughs> jump over the line without anyone catching you. I never said that, <laughs> um, but yeah, it's it's a it's a really fun day, and we're we're happy to make some smiles on people's faces and uh, make sure that they know that we're you know their local winery. We've been we're the oldest and largest winery in Pennsylvania. We've been making these for you know close to forty years, and um, we have a really great following. And so we want to give a little back and just you know have a great day out. Well, we're going to talk more with Anna. Talk more wine, chocolate. Is this fun or what? <laughs> we'll be right back. <laughs> 